of San Janeiro. Good times. Organizers say more than a million people have passed through the sweet smelling food stalls in the 11 days of the San Janeiro Festival in Little Italy this year. Whether it's sampling the cannoli or the seasoned corn on the cob, the Italian pastries, or the oysters and clams in a newsstand from Midtown Catch Seafood, the numbers are back to pre pandemic levels and everybody is happy. It's a really cool experience. It's a lot of food, a lot of cool people. I enjoy the Italian sausage and peppers a lot. And how is that <laughs> corn on the cob? That looks so good with the seasoning. Yep, it's amazing. At the oldest restaurant in Little Italy, the 130 year old Ferraris, the fifth generation owner, sliced up a nine layer cake with six layers of frosting and cream and handed out 2,000 free slices to celebrate this super successful San Gennaro festival now in its 96th year. And it's just about being a New York street festival, enjoying Italian food, and just sharing, especially after COVID. It's great to see everybody come out and have fun. And proud mama Josephine Della Carpini loves that her son's restaurant right next door to Ferrara's, Pep San Grand, is doing so well this year. After all, she taught her son everything he knows. 100%. Her and Started her sisters. From mom. Her and my aunts. <laughs> Started with the bolognese sauce uh, and uh, we took off from there. And at Cafe Napoli, celebrating 50 years here on Mulberry, the grandson of the original owners could not be happier. It's a big bounce back from last year, which is big. Uh, a lot of people coming from different countries, different parts of the United States, different parts of New York. A lot of people coming back. I see a lot of familiar faces each day and definitely a bit better than last year. And anything beats 2020. So.